<clears throat> All right, y'all. So here we go again. Bang. Just read a little bit from here. That's it. Just a little bit. I'm about to head on out and when I gotta get four massages a day. Um, not too many I gotta do today. But before I leave, I'm just gonna read this little. Oh here, yeah. here he come. What son? Your mama's in the bathroom. Can she use the bathroom in peace? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so basically, we're on a section <clears throat> about connective tissue massage. So I just want you know, just more of a history of it. You know, I could have um went back and you know read some other stuff, but we're just gonna start right here. The discovery of connective tissue massage. Now just listen to the words I'm gonna say because when you start to sit back and think and you can learn to do these things to your own body, anything that you can do just by sitting here doing nothing. I mean, you can do this thing five, ten minutes and just experiment with yourself. And these things become powerful, you know. But and I'm talking about powerful to, to healing your body and letting your body do what it needs to do, just get the circulation and everything to get circulation to. So once you start to learn about this reflex, this reflex me mechanism that I'm always talking about with the body, it's crazy. It's not just, you know, reflex through, you know. Reflex all you know, reflex all just using your hands, feet, and ear. I mean, the whole body is a reflex mechanism, and you'll be surprised what it can do. Connective tissue CTM. Connective tissue massage was discovered accidentally, accidentally in 1929. That's why you always want to do those simple researches on yourself. Just do things because you never know what you come up with. Anybody come up with something. Signs, don't wait on signs. You be the sign. That sign's going to follow you instead of you. Accidentally in 1929 in Austria by the physical therapist E. Dickel. I forgot who I forgot her full name, but it was over several years. I came across this a few years ago. Over several years, she listen, she suffered a failure of arterial circulation in the lower extremities as a result of thromboangitis oblivions. Randomly, I, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. Randomly, in the process of self massage in the lumbar sacral area, that's more in the lower back area, you know, right in the, in the sacral area, the lumbar area, the lumbar, the, um, lumbar sacral area, she noticed, listen, she noticed the appearance of warm feeling in the light pulsation in both feet. That's the reflex mechanism. So she worked in areas to stimulate the nerves to get the, um, the circulation down to a reflex area, down to her feet. E. Dugger also noticed that the only certain types of strokes. In these in the special areas evoke these type of sensations. She started to perform massages daily and compared the results with her sensations. In the end, circulation in the lower extremities was restored due to her discovery. So I mean, it, I mean that's crazy, you know. E. Dugal started investigating in the clinics in Germany and Australia in cooperation with these all other physical therapists she worked with. As a result of their combined research, a method of medical massage named connective tissue massage was created. This effective procedure is used with great success in many clinics and hospitals around the world for almost a century. Now, that's just like that's just a discovery. I just wanted to read a little section, like I said, a little section. Um, the mechanism of CMT. Just, just pay attention to the words that I say. Just pay attention, you know, because there's certain key words that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be saying while I'm reading it, and it can make you be like, ah, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's just that simple. We just are not aware of our own body. It's our body, but we have no goddamn um, idea how to work it. It's crazy. Connective tissue massage treatments um, gradually decreases the tension in the connective tissue. Structure and eliminate CTZ. That's the connective tissue zone. That's that's something that you know it can affect. Like a zone can affect like the blood flow in certain parts of the body. Say like on the middle middle part, the middle back part of your back, and the middle back part of your back right side. That's where your liver. That's where connective zone for your liver is. So if that gets all tight, you never had a blood flow to get your liver for, for the liver to do its job, and that's when crazy crazy things start to happen. So that's what I mean by that. The therapeutic application of CTM has two major outcomes. Connective tissue massage has a local therapeutic effect which results in the elimination of CTZ. Because tension in the CTZ, that's connective tissue zone, is one of the is one of the is you know, one of the factors responsible for the formation of hypertonic muscular abnormalities such as hypertonic trigger points, restoration. A rest, um, restoration of the normal structure of the fascia. Other important benefits of CTM are 
it's distance basso, mama basso dilate to get the open the um, blood circulation to certain areas. Basso dilatory effect as a result of a histamine release. Really. You know, got people talking about these antihistamine, um, that in diets, things like that. So, so yes, once your body starts to, I don't know if it's much, but I know we have a, a over accumulation of them from, like I say, overworking out over things like that. So their job is to do certain things in the body, but. They're not getting out of it and they get sore in the body, it's when it's going to be a lot, a lot of um, problems. So, other benefits of CT are the distance, vasculatory effect, as such as results of histamine release. And its reflect, reflect, reflex effect on the chronic visceral disorders. In the last case, the therapeutic effect of the CTM is realized. The reflex pathways in the autonomic nervous system. According to many publications, Glader and such and such, and all these other guys, the elimination of tension in the CTZ, this is motor connect tissue zones, once you eliminate that, it results in the restoration of balance between the parasympathetic, so you're just able to breathe without no stress. In the sympathetic, that's when if you don't do it correctly, your breath is fucked up and your body, it just goes to hell after that. The parasympathetic and the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. It helps to normalize the function of the affected inner organs. Listen, it helps to normalize. That's what we want. Listen, to. it helps to normalize the function of the affected inner organs, which share the same innervation with the areas of the CTZ. Okay. <clears throat> CTM, connective tissue massage, increases the B endorphin releases. You see that? It increases the B endorphin releases. I don't know what the B stands for. Maybe I need to look into that. Maybe somebody could just say what it means if they listen to this. Um, into the circulation. These potent peptides trigger long lasting distance validation and restore the threshold and pain receptors in affected soft tissue. So, you know, y'all always hear me talking a lot about people always overworking and doing all those things. But if people just took the time and, and did a lot of these basic things, they wouldn't have to work so hard, especially on releasing weight, losing weight, so-called gaining muscles, getting stronger. They wouldn't have to, man. But, you know, I mean, we're not aware of these things. It's not our fault we're not taught. I don't know whose fault it is, but, hey, it's going to be my job to get the information out to everybody. Since the discovery of connective tissue massage, numerous studies have been conducted in various clinics, resulting in a strong scientific basis. For the practical application of CTM, a review of the studies on the effect of CTM in case of chronic somatic and visceral disorders is discussed in the separate publication. It's a lot of stuff that's in the, the other publication I have up there, in that book up there. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read a lot of those to y'all, too. It's going to be good for y'all. That's pretty much all I had today. Um, five and five minute read. Um, as you can see, here's, here's the zones. Um, this dealing with the lungs. 12, right here, left side dealing with the heart, 11. This is dealing with the um, stomach, 3. This is dealing with the liver and the gallbladder. Ah, I forgot what 2 was. Um, and 10 is dealing with the, um, 10 is dealing with the, the lymphatic drainage, because you got a major lymphatic drainage area going right there. Number um, 4 is dealing more with the kidneys. Um, 7 is dealing with the arterial circulation going down to the legs, to the feet. Um... Eight is dealing with the genitalia area. Listen, a lot of y'all may need this. You see that eight is dealing with the genitalia area. Listen, it's dealing with the genitalia area. Um, five, I forgot what five was. Oh, intestines, that's right. Five was dealing with the small, one part of the small intestines. Six deals with another part of intestines. And uh, what was four and three? Four is kidneys, long body. Eight, and, oh, that's right. Thirteen is more more of the lungs, also. And fourteen is more of the, the upper limb, the upper limb zones, and for the um head and things that area. So I just wanted to just go over here and you know just talk about a little bit through the um through the book that I'm reading because I've been learning a whole lot. You know, I gotta give my mentors um a lot of props because they've done a lot of good things. So I'm gonna read to you just a little excerpt from the book. That I've came to found helpful for me. So, I mean, I'm enjoying it because this information needs to be put out there. And y'all don't understand the power of massages. It's a beautiful thing, you know. So, 
I'm off to work. I got about four to go knock out today. And I'm going to come home and 